The fight for democracy. What was that? We just travel through time. Vera, tell me the truth. You're a goddess, right? It seems to me that only gods and goddesses could do something like that. And even then, not all of them. There's a bit of God in all of us, and sometimes we're even godlike. We need to celebrate the fact that we were saved. I'll go to the market and get something very tasty. Okay. I'll look around your house. It's possible that something from another time might have appeared here. Look around Socrates' house. Oh, he's not locked this time. Ah, I see, I see, I see. We're doing this. Okay, cool. It looks like a car, or like two cars. Here we go. One of them, scissors, fountain pen. No, it's not a fountain pen, but something like that. A ballpoint pen, maybe? Something along those lines, maybe? Uh, we've got a horsey, or a knight, maybe, if it's for chess. And we got a pipe, and binoculars, and a corkscrew. Uh, and a car, still. Might be outside. Uh, we don't know that yet. Just trying to find some stuff in here until we're totally out of it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Let's go outside. Hmm. Oh, there's the hat. Uh, we need that. Oh, we actually need the hose now. Cool. There's something underneath and that and that. Uh, there it is. And that one. Oh, we need the ball or the sphere, maybe. Okay. Oh, there was something. Could move things out of the way. So it's just a screw. No, I was saying screwdriver. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. The um, corkscrew. I just found it. There we go. Two things left. Ah, that was outside. Outside. And a megaphone. Having an oh, it's actually right behind. I was gonna say I haven't seen one. Task complete. Feels good. What a nightmare! It's horrible! There's a revolution here in Athens. Why are you naked again, dude? What? A tyrant has overthrown the People's Council and has taken power. Why aren't you wearing any clothes? A patrol undressed me. The tyrant has passed a decree stating that all citizens of Athens must walk around naked. Why? No one knows. They say he's a despot. Random searches are taking place all over town. They are burning clothes on the main square. Good heavens! And women are undressing too? Yes, and children and old people. I know that you, Vera, are no mere mortal. Perhaps you can talk with the gods and get them to do something. Okay, Socrates, calm down. The gods are very unlikely to help us, so we'll have to take this into our own hands. Do you have anyone that you trust, like, maybe five people? Sure, my students. Okay, we'll need to get them here and come up with a plan. I'll need a map of Athens. Restore democracy to Athens. Okay, this is weird. They're making everyone undress. Oh my god, the poor naked people. The people have been trampled and are crying. We can't take everything that's been, anything that's been guarded. Okay, reliable person. All the naked people. <laughs> but the guards don't need to be naked. That's kind of weird. It's too early to celebrate today, but we'll be too late tomorrow. Stable. Tyrant's Palace. Should I take it alone? What am I doing? Oh, there. Um. Oh, 
Okay, so what are we doing? Everyone can take a loan from the bank. Okay. Incorruptible people? Two barrels of great wine. Ah. Uh, Now we've got- oh my god, it's the robot! Now we need to pay back our loans. Okay. How do we- Uh... How do we- oh. No? What? Oh. Now we need to disarm the people? Oops, they woke up. Okay. Robot, how did you manage to become a tyrant? The locals have never seen a robot before, so they figured that I was sent by the gods. Ah, ah, ah. They asked me why I came, and I answered to clean things up and maintain order. I rake up leaves, take out the garbage. I always maintain order. And then what happened? Then they asked me to bring order to Athens. That's how I became their ruler. Ah, ah, ah. So why did you impose a ban on clothing? People wear clothes, and they don't keep things tidy. We robots never wear clothes, and we always keep things clean and maintain order. Ah, ah, ah. Order. 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 Oh no, I'm malfunctioning again. Order. Flawless logic! Naked people maintain order. I like rebooting the robot though. If it's the same as last time, yay, I like rebooting. Let's take the most common first. <sighs> uh, Doriotarianism. Oh my god, I don't know what's supposed to be there. Hori... Boriatarium... Voritarium... Oh, it's Horitarianism. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, authoritarianism, sorry. Authoritarianism. Yeah, Mr. Robot. Just know. Thank you for rebooting me. Robot, I need your help. Of course. All robots must help people. We will travel a hundred million years into the future. There, we need to neutralize a dangerous criminal with hypnotic powers. You're not afraid of being hypnotized, are you? I'm a robot, and the only thing robots are afraid of is rust. Let's catch this criminal. Excellent. Socrates, we're going to leave now. Take care. From philosopher to philosopher, Vera, let me give you a big hug. Take care of yourself and keep thinking Ew, happy Ew, that was more in the hug, dude. Goodbye. Don't forget to come back and visit. Connecting to 100 million, 2008 AD. Woohoo, time travel. Well, we're going to chapter 16. Yay, we played 65% of the game. Toadstool! Wow, look at all the mushrooms. Yes, this is the Mushroom Age. So where is this criminal that we are here to capture? I think he will show himself soon. I just hope that we'll be able to talk with him. But he might just try to hypnotize me. As soon as I feel like I'm being hypnotized, I'll tell you. Then you should look around because he should be somewhere nearby. If you see anything suspicious, stop him. Okay, and what are we going to do now? Now, we wait. When I have nothing to do, I play games. If I don't, then my logic processor breaks down and I start to malfunction. So do you want to play a game? Sure, what do you want to play? Robo checkers. And what will we play on? My face, of course. What did you think we would play on? Play a game of Robo Checkers. You can jump vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. Oh no, I don't even like this game. 
Why do they always have this puzzle? Whoops. Oh, diagonally too? Um... new one that you can do horizontally though, as far as I know. Drats. Oh, never mind. Do you feel hypnotized yet? Not yet. Did you enjoy the game? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Let's play another game. Oh dear. I don't even know what I, what I'm doing, but apparently I did something right. No. I'll just do it symmetrically or something, kind of. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know checkers. I don't really do checkers, rather, I guess. Okay, fine. Task completed. Cool. Do you feel hypnotized yet? Not yet. Okay, let's play again. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Cheating, although technically I don't even know if you can cheat at this Jaguars game because, like, what are we even doing? I'm just moving these at random, I really am. It's like, what? Seems like it's kind of impossible to lose. Just suits me fine. Oh, something's happening to me. What is it? Someone is trying to hack into my system. Relax. Robots can't be hypnotized. Actually, anything can be hypnotized. Robot? I'm already not the robot, and you, Vera, will also be hypnotized. Aha, there you are. I wanted to have a word with you. I warned you not to interfere with my plans. When I finish counting to three, you will have the worst nightmare you can imagine. One. Two. Wouldn't it be better just to talk this over? Three. Oh no. Welcome to a new reality. Ah, ah, ah. To free yourself from the hypnotic powers, you need to concentrate and find differences between the left and right parts of the screen. That should be pretty quick. Oh. That almost. Whoa. Went right off the screen there. Um, how many are there left? Four. 
okie-dokie There are four left? Okay, fine, maybe there are two left. No! Oh! Sorry, there were oh, actually only two left. Now there's zero. So, what do you think of my hypnotic powers? Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I warned you not to interfere. Now, I will hypnotize you so that you think you are a small, mindless toadstool for the rest of your life. Well, first let me see who you really are. Why don't you show yourself? Why? It's my last wish before I become a toadstool. Okay. Try to find me. Oh my gosh. Okay. You've been hypnotized again. In order to break free from the hypnotic powers, you need to restore your vision by unscrambling the blocks. Okay. This feels like this was like over here. And this is also like this is over there. This is more like that. Oh, actually, the background shows. That's cool. Interesting. See, when you change, it shows the background. Um... This might go down there? Probably? Yeah, okay, cool. Um... Awesome. I like how there are no hints here. <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh... No. No. You go up there. You actually there. Aha. Now what goes up in the corner? Oh, you go up in the corner, actually. No, you don't. No, you go up in the corner. Oh, oh, I didn't know you could do like that. Phew. That is like really easy. Cool. I can tell, Vera, that you are a challenging opponent. But before I finish you, let me show myself and tell you my plan. That would be awesome, That's thank you. That's very kind of you. First, let me get this pile of scrap metal out of the way. Allow me to start from the beginning. Ah, oh so you're a mushroom. You are Surprised? A mushroom. Yes, I'm a mushroom. Mushrooms are the only life forms left on Earth. It's been about 100 million years since man walked on the planet, and with only mushrooms left on the planet, evolution came to standstill. It was the dawn of the mushroom age. I grew from a genetically mutated spore, and I became more than just a mushroom. I became the uber mushroom. I am the only intelligent being here in the mushroom age. I can hypnotize people from a distance, and read people's minds. I have an intellect 25 times more powerful than that of a human. But all the same, I'm a mushroom. Can you even imagine the life of a mushroom? Well, basically, I think I can. Mushrooms are condemned to immobility, spreading spores, and gradual decay. Well, it's something. When Tom came here in his time machine, I knew that this was my chance. I took control of his body and his invention. I figured if I could change the events that took place in past epochs, then the history of the Earth would be changed forever, and the Mushroom Age would never happen. That's what I thought anyway. But you, Vera, were right on Tom's heels, and you ruined my plan. But now I'm about to win. 
there's an event about to take place in 3008 that will change the face of the Earth forever. Yes, but then you and your super intelligence will be gone. I'm a mushroom, and I'm not happy. I will disappear in the name of a better life. Oh, give me a break. Everyone can find happiness. That's enough out of you. I'm going to turn you into a toadstool. Okie dokie. Oh no, I'm really a toadstool. No, you're not a toadstool. Who are you? It's us, the mushrooms. Wait a second. I thought you weren't able to talk. That's a load of baloney. But the <laughs> Uber mushroom said that he was the only mushroom who could think. Baloney. See, you're not alone, Uber mushroom. Okay, try to become human again. Am I what? Oh. Oh. We're building a person mushroom. Maybe. What am I? What are we? What? I. D what? Person mushroom. Okay. Okay. We even have high heels. Weird. Besher. Wait, wait, why are we tight? What? Why are we time traveling? What? I don't know what's happening, but we'll uh, find out where we're going in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying Mushroom Age, and I'll see you a bit later.